Home court belongs to the Timberwolves in this one as we bring you a Western Conference matchup here live from the Target Center in Minneapolis. The NBA on 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us this Sunday afternoon with Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlow. Welcome, everyone. The road trip for the Blazers ends here as they leave for Portland right after the game. Yeah, you know, it's really tough what they're going through right now. The situation they're in, doubt starts to creep in, especially as the losses mount, and that just makes them as a team more and more vulnerable. You're right, Clark. And, you know, they seem to be in such a terrible state of mind at this point. No confidence. It feels like the, the players may not be uh, trusting the coaching staff, trusting each other. It's been very disjointed in terms of the, the style of play that we've seen from them lately. The starters for the Portland Trailblazers. Alonzo G is out there with Robin Lopez. Then there's Batum. Then there's Aflalo. And it's Lillard in the point guard position. Now, here's Lillard. He had a 27-point outing in the last game against Memphis. And no question, you look at his assist totals, and they tell you what a nice job he was doing with really spreading that ball around. Now, Portland, Oregon is a very different kind of NBA town. A popular motto around here is keep Portland weird. So uh, a sort of counterculture that the fans and the citizens in Portland embrace. But it's a one-team town, and the fans have always shown incredible support for their beloved Blazers. Looking at Portland, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Grizzlies. Yeah, that was just a shocking result. Nobody saw it coming. You know, to lose to that team would have been surprise enough, but to get blown out like that? Wow. Yeah, I know. I mean, they were just sleepwalking their way through the entire game. I mean, they were like zombies out there. That's inexcusable in my world. The drive by Rubio. Here's Wiggins. Outside for Martin. Takes the three. They grab their own miss. Here's Pekovic. Well, it was only a matter of time that they finally get the bucket. Pekovic has got his first points of the game. Here's Lillard. There's the dish to G. From deep three-point range, Minnesota with the rebound. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. And Kevin, they overcame a very poor shooting night to win that game. You know, you're not going to be able to win very often with a percentage as low as theirs. Yeah, no beauty or style points in that game, but they did hit the big shots when they needed to. Looks like he's trying to find a groove in this game. Just hasn't had it dialed in yet. Rubio with it. Now guarded by Alfon. Martin for three. Good. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Lillard attacking. 17-foot shot on the way. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's Martin. And that one is stuffed right through. Boy, the kind of moments you love to see. Excellent defense leading to a dunk at the other end. Clark, you got to marvel at the transition game when they've got it quick, and it's really explosive. High octane for sure. Ooh. And turning defensive pressure into offensive opportunities, that's what it's all about. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Jang, he's checked in for Nikola Pekovic. Payne comes in for Kevin Garnett. Gary Neal's checked in for Kevin Martin. And Levine subbed in for Ricky Rubio. Levine kicks to Neal. Levine passes to Wiggins. Shot clock at six. And it comes off the front of the rim. Looked like he rushed that one, guys. The defense was out of position. He was wide open, just couldn't take advantage. Aldridge can do so many things on a basketball floor. It shouldn't really come as a surprise when he switches his style up. Last year, I thought he played a lot more with his back to the basket. Here's Tang. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Rebound and the follow-up. 
typify what he's all about. Just gritty, determined play. And the basket by Blake. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. And to add what you said about Aldridge, the years before his last season, he tended to face up to the basket and Clark shoot over people, which was fine as he was so gifted. But I think with the change to the Blazers' offensive schemes and just the way the team wanted to approach the season, they needed more of a back-to-the-basket guy, and Aldridge was as dominant as ever stepping into that role in addition to still being able to knock down that face-up jump. Pass to Levine. Feeds to Wiggins. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Tough three-point try there with a hand in his face. Boy, you'd be lucky to make that one against great defense. And we got a close game here as we get back to the second quarter. And looking at what we've seen so far from the Trailblazers guys, uh, what do you think? I was impressed with their transition game, guys. They really got out and ran the lanes. Yeah, they did. I mean, no better way to get easy buckets than through fast break. Levine is out there with Gary Neal. Then it's Gorgie Dan. Then there's Martin. And it's Payne at the four spot. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, a little frustrated now, shaking his head after that miss. Neal's shot is off. And for Portland, they're shooting 40% from the field. And now Minnesota on the first break. The lead changes hands once again. There has been no separation between these two teams tonight. What an intriguing basketball game, that's for sure. Well, certainly a story here at the Target Center is the ongoing $100 million renovation to the building. Split 50-50 between the team and the city of Minneapolis. That's great news to Timberwolves fans. And Doris Burke has a report for us from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Robin Lopez has always been just a little bit different. He feels at home in Portland, where the city slogan says, keep Portland weird. Coach Scott said there aren't too many towns that have that slogan. Portland's a perfect fit for him and vice versa. Lopez definitely marches to the beat of his own drum, guys. Thank you, Doris. Lopez always a bit of an eccentric, but the Blazers love his impact on the court. And you look at the long list of improvement for the target center. New lobbies, new box office, renovated locker rooms, new clubs and gathering areas. Seems like they're getting a great bang for their buck. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And guys, it can be tough to see teams pressuring cities for new arenas. Nice that the Timberwolves can stay put and... Still get those improvements. Absolutely, Kevin. You know, this building is good bones, a great location, so it's a pleasure to see the transformation they're making here, and we're already starting to see some of the results. Lillard's checked in for Portland. And that one's good. He's such a well rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Dishes it to Martin. But Trey. Portland grabs the miss. G's got his third rebound on the night. Clark, some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Guys, you know, you're not going to hit that shot too often. That's high risk. Alert again. Rubio. Wide open look. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Quarter two, and just under two and a half minutes gone by. 
Lillard misses. Minnesota leading by four. For three. And Kevin Martin hits from deep. Martin's got six points in the quarter. Boy, what a significant turnaround here in the second quarter after only making 40% from the field in the first. And it's Lillard again missing. Nikola Pekovic might be the strongest player in the league. Guys, 6'11", 285, power lifter's physique. He's impossible to move once he gets position. Trailblazers, trail. By seven, the wide open look here for Lopez. 